I'm in the Peak District. I'm going out on a little solo mission. I've got enough stuff in the bag to last me about three days. And uh, I've plotted a route, two nights wild camping. And it looks like a pretty remote area of the Peak District. So it should be fun. Come along for the journey. I'm a little bit worried about how boggy this route's going to be. I made it up onto Derwent Edge. The sun's out. There's no one up here. The views are incredible. There's a nice little spot here, which is quite sheltered, which I'm thinking about camping at, but I did want to get further on than this. So let me just think about it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to pitch here. I don't think I'm going to find a spot as sheltered as this tonight. The backpack I'm using is a Gregory Zulu 55. And the tent is an MSR Hubba Hubba NX2. Bit of a random name, but an amazing tent. I'm in. I timed it just right. It just started raining and the sun's going down in about the next 20 minutes. So I'm going to get my stuff ready. So this is my bed set up. I've got a Firmares Neo Air X Lite NXT roll mat, big Agnes torch light sleeping bag. And then this contraption is a seat to summit pillow with a jacket and a schnood because I need two pillows. There's a bit of a storm coming in. It's gonna be a good test for the tent this is. That was a quick blast. I'm just gonna re-peg the tent now. Just get it solid again. I'll cook up some food. Mac and cheese, what do we reckon? Any good? Oh, it is nice actually. A little tip on the colder nights, put your clothes that you're going to be wearing tomorrow to hike in, in the sleeping bag with you when you go to sleep. That'll be nice and warm in the morning. Right, see you tomorrow. So this is where I camped last night. It was a bit of a wild one. There was a storm and then the stars came out and now it's just misty. But I'm going to pack the tent away and get moving. It's half five in the morning and I've got a fair few miles to do today. Quick check to make sure I haven't left anything. The clouds are lifted and you can see for miles. So saying this is the Peak District, it feels quite remote. My aim today is to get over to the River Alport to find a bit of a hidden waterfall and I want to camp around there. Just made it down to Howden Reservoir. This dam here, there's Lady Bower Reservoir, Derwent Reservoir and then Howden Reservoir. Three separate dams along the way. Cheers. Oh, I needed that. Right, a couple minutes and then we'll carry on. This little section of the river here is called the Slippery Stones and it's a really good little swim spot. I've seen people jumping in over there. Got to try and get down there and across that river, head up that way. This is a little bit off piste, but I have found a nice little waterfall there. Oh, this is hard work. I just very nearly fell in that river, so don't copy me on this one. Well, I've seen a hut. I think it's a shooting cabin. I'm just making my way up through the moorland. Hopefully it's not there for a bit of lunch. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. You'd never know this was here. Absolutely perfect little spot for lunch. I would sleep here, but it's, uh, it's pretty early in the day. I'm knackered. I might have a nap. <laughs> There's a little visitor's book. More mac and cheese. I need to filter some water. <laughs> Look at the colour of that. I might filter that twice. Filter that into there, then drink it through that filter. So double filtered should be sound. It's coming out of there looking really clean. Well, just to be safe, we'll do it twice. Let's try it. Mm. Beautiful. Made it up to Alport Castle and the last section of today's bit is down to uh, the River Alport. Find this waterfall, find somewhere to camp and uh, I'm knackered so I'm ready to relax. It's been about 20 miles so far. Oh, I've made it. I found the waterfall. Have a look at this. This has got to be the best wild camping spot. Waterfall behind me, chili and rice, tents over there in the middle of nowhere. 
and because it's Easter, I bought myself a little chocolate egg. It got a bit ragged on the way over, but I'm gonna sit and enjoy this, enjoy the waterfall, and I'll see you in the morning. This is where I camped last night. The tent's a little bit frozen. I've got a waterfall behind me down on the River Alport, but it's pretty cold, so I'm gonna pack my stuff up and get moving. There's no easy way out of here, so I'm gonna have to traverse up that and then find a footpath over to Snake Pass. That's where I camped last night down there. That's the way I'm headed. These are the sort of parts where things can go really wrong. There is no clear footpath, mist everywhere. If my phone died and I didn't know how to map read, you could easily get lost here. We should join the Pennine Way footpath somewhere along here. Ah, oh, there we go. This is the Pennine Way, the bleak low. For breakfast this morning, we've got the other half of each take with some Smarties left in it. My gas ran out, so I couldn't cook my breakfast, but that'll do us till we get back. That's Snake Pass Road just there. There's a couple of little uh, pools we've got to be swimming along here. I'm not swimming today though, it's freezing. I'm hoping somewhere along here there'll be a random coffee van with a nice cappuccino waiting for me. The likelihood, very slim. I've been looking forward to this park, going down through the woodland. Oh, it looks like someone's camping. Some nice Christmas trees. Morning. Good time to clean the shoes off. This is the last big uphill section and I am absolutely rogered. Oh, I can't wait to get back to the car now. <sighs> Nearly there. Back down at Lady Bower Reservoir and up there is where I camped two nights ago. In total, this epic adventure was 33 miles, two amazing wild camps. But in all honesty, I wouldn't try and follow it because it's extremely difficult to navigate. Remember, for wild camping, you should have the permission from the landowner. Always pitch late, leave early and leave no trace. See you soon.